Another major story today, aside from the death of Lyndon Johnson, the tragic death and the hopes for peace in Vietnam, is the decision of the United States Supreme Court. It handed down a historic decision about abortion. The court said in a 7-2 decision that in the first three months of pregnancy, only the woman and her physician may decide whether she may have an abortion. In the second three months, all the state may do is regulate abortion procedures. And only in the final three months of pregnancy can the state forbid abortion. It was 50 years ago. Supreme Court justices sided with a Texas woman who used the legal pseudonym Jane Roe against the defendant, Dallas District Attorney Henry Wade. At the time, abortions were illegal in Texas. Attorneys Linda Coffey and Sarah Weddington challenged that law, with the case eventually going to the Supreme Court. The landmark ruling legalized abortion across the country. Today's decision came as a shock to both anti- and pro-abortionist forces. Well, it means that January 22nd, 1973 will stand out as one of the great days for freedom and free choice. This allows a woman free choice as whether or not to remain pregnant. This is extraordinary. How many millions of children prior to their birth will never live to see the light of day because of the shocking action of the majority of the United States Supreme Court today? Whatever their legal rationale, Seven men have made a tragic utilitarian judgment regarding who shall live and who shall die. For some women, this law will mean the difference between having an abortion or not. For many others, the law will mean simply having the abortion in their own state instead of traveling to another state like New York. The majority decision was written by Justice Harry Blackman. He said that a woman's right to abortion fell within a right to privacy protected by the 14th Amendment's due process clause. Justice William Rehnquist wrote the dissenting opinion. He claimed the court had taken the concept of liberty too far, writing, quote, Liberty is not guaranteed absolutely against deprivation, only against deprivation without due process of the law. From the beginning, pro-abortionist forces have seen this issue as a question of freedom of an individual's choice. The freedom to have an abortion is now legal in every state. The basic legal fight is in effect over. But according to the Roman Catholic Church, the moral fight will never end, and the Church will continue to instruct women and institutions not to take advantage of this choice. 